207. Did you spend your honeymoon here? Do we get 207? You do not. They are going to tear the hotel down tomorrow. Why are you tearing down the hotel? Don't blame it on me, lady. It's not my hotel. Hey. I'm giving a little party. You know where I can get a drink? No, sir. You mean to say I can't get a drink around here? No, sir. No wonder they're tearing the joint down. Good night. You're welcome. Good evening. Reservation for me. Name is Layton. Layton? Oh, I see you're from Miami, Mr. Layton. Yes. You had quite a wind down there some time ago, didn't you? Oh, big wind. I hear it lifted everything but the mortgages. Front? No use, they won't cash it. I thought you said they knew you were here. That's the trouble. Oh. <laughs> I was born the day this hotel was completed. Why, I thought it was only 50 years old. <gasps> You waiting for someone? You're too nice a girl to be left alone. As far as you're concerned, I'm still alone. I'm just thinking, and they're tearing it down tomorrow. Oh, John, you're not getting sentimental, are you? He isn't getting sentimental. He just didn't get the contract. Wish I had five dollars to renew his fit in this hotel. You're telling me? Right at 9924 Hello? 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 <laughs> Little children, that was Mr. Roy Apple speaking. Mr. Roy Apple. Oh, oh uh, Johnny. Yes. You're not leaving, are you? I have to. I must join the missus down the grill room. Well, have a drink before you go. No, thanks. I'm not touching a thing. I'll go back to Maxine's. Well, fun and frolic themes. Well, good night, fellas. I'll see you all later. Goodbye, Johnny. Well, 
guy to show. Don't worry. He'll show. I hope so. I've looked at so many faces in the last two weeks, I'm getting dizzy. You always were dizzy. Listen. He's got a fortune hidden someplace in this hotel, and tonight's his last chance to get it. So... We'll wait. Not here. You watch the desk. Okay.
We have room B43. B43? We had it at our honeymoon. If it's available, you're very fortunate. You know, we're very nearly full. I'm so glad. Front? Show Mr. Edmonds the 343. Yes, sir. Good evening. Evening. Reservation for A.R. Cooper. A.R. Cooper? I'm very sorry, Mr. Cooper, but when we received your reservation, 705 was not available. However, I've put you in 707. Will that be all right? Oh, uh, that's the next room, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's all right. Front? Yes, sir. 707. Did you honeymoon here also? Uh, yes. Uh, the hotel holds a very precious memory for me. Any mail for Mills? Mills? No mail. Thanks. Bennett is here. What did I tell you? What's his room number? 707 under the name A.R. Cooper. Great. Barbershop still open. Thank you. I'm glad you're a blonde. Why? <laughs> Anything the color of gold is nice to look at. You would think you'd never seen a girl before. <laughs> I'm going to see plenty of them from now on. Says you. Sir. Hello? That you, Timmy? He's in the barber shop. Okay. Pleasant to be saved by somebody else for a change, eh? I said it must be pleasant to be shaved by somebody else for a change. I heard you the first time. The novelty's worn off. I haven't shaved myself for two weeks. Cute little thing. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Thank you. Very becoming. Thanks. I have a great fondness for the old place. No, I don't doubt it. <laughs> yeah. No, there's been quite a bit of discussion about you among the boys lately. Boys? What boys? Your pals at headquarters. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are they all? Holding their best to hear from you. 
He must be exhausted by now. Some of the boys are betting he'll turn the money over. Others are betting it'll be found on him and he'll go back to jail. I told them I thought you'd hand it over. Of course, I haven't to see what you're talking about. Going up? No. Going up? No. Well, goodbye then. Oh, I'll be seeing you later. Later? Later. Who occupies that suite? Uh, Mr. Underwood, sir. Oh. Was that Mr. Underwood? Yes, sir. Thanks. Drugstore, sir. Drugstore? Yes, sir, for the young lady. What young lady? My mistake. 708. What? From the drugstore, miss. Thank you. Looks kind of funny to me, sir. What's the matter? I'm afraid it's a suicide. Well, it's a sweat explorer. thing to be doing. Let me alone. And have you make a mess of yourself? What's the matter with you? Gone crazy? Who are you? What are you doing here? What difference? How could anybody understand? Why waste all that on a cold slab? You know, you have everything a girl should have. Everything? Sure. Everything you need. There's nothing else you couldn't get if you wanted badly enough not worth it. That's what you think now. The only part of you that wants to die is here. Isn't that enough? No. You know, you've got lots to live for. What? I'll show you. That's a good sign. That was pretty rough. I'm sorry. Come on, don't be a quitter. The rotten, dirty world. Good time. They're happy. They've got friends. But I've got no one. No folks? If I had, I wouldn't let them know where I am. 
I've been alone for five years without a friendly voice, without seeing anything beautiful. But you've seen rottenness. You've just had your head down. Look up. Up there. They are kind of pretty. Sure they are. Life is grand. It's great to be free. It's great just to be able to draw your breath. Who are you? <laughs> now you're asking questions. And that's another good sign. What's your name? Ruth. Ruth Carter. Do me a favor, Ruth. What's that? Swear off the drugstore cocktails. If the stars are out and I don't get lonely. Supposing I help. Think about me. You're taking the same chance. What we've been or what we are. That's our business. You have helped me. Mortal. Well, that's fine. Now remember, no more of those cocktails. You know, Ruth, I play hunches. I played one when I crashed in here tonight. Now, you say you're lonely. Well, am I. So what? So we'll stop being lonely together. You want me? Yes. I have an idea we can get along together. And if we do... Yes? We'll go so far away from here that no one will ever find us. You're almost too good to be true. Everybody in the hotel is celebrating. Why can't we? We'll start right now, tonight. Have you anything to wear? With no dinner clothes. Well, it doesn't matter. You wait here. I'll be back. Just let wants to reform me. Sure, he's a cinch. Well, well, well. Must be an alumni gathering, isn't it? <laughs> no, Martin, I'm sorry. I don't belong. Well, that's too bad. We must fix that someday. Your friend here had uh, quite a course, didn't he? Three years, wasn't it? Ah, baloney. Not in your class, Tierney. Not in your class. I can see that. So teach him better manners. I do my best. Sure you do, Tierney. Sure you do. Just like I did for Bennett. He must have fought a lot of you during the last five years. Bought a nice new dress for some girl, probably. Boys will be boys. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, you give me a pain. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Open the door and see. Oh, it's you. Sure. Yes. I got a 
crab? Nope. A bowl of goldfish? Getting warm. This could go on for days. <laughs> nope. It goes on for nights. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Why, yes, I love it, but well, I hope it fits. It should. The sales girl was about your build. She tried it on. Did she try these on, too? I never thought to ask her. Put them on. Well, I'll wait outside. <laughs> What's the joke? I don't get you. How do you mean? Men have bought me clothes before, but you're the first one that hasn't wanted to help me put them on. I'm just as surprised as you are. Do you like me? Beautiful. Perfect. Will you help me? I'll say I will. I think that goes round there. You guessed right. Why did you do this? I thought you might need them. Part of the celebration program. Can you afford it? Sure. I'm going to become a rich man tonight. That's why I'm here in the hotel. I've waited years for this night. Sweated for it. Now I'm going to cash in and then... Yes? Cuba. Monte Carlo. Paris. We'll take them apart and see what makes them tick. Are you on? I think you're crazy, but it sounds swell. It will be. Swell. Come on, hurry up. I want to be seen with you for reasons of my own. You shouldn't have spent so much money on me. <laughs> That's nothing to what we're going to spend. You haven't gotten the money already. Not yet. I couldn't get into the room. Which room? The gold room of the Hotel Continental. is coming to you from the grill room of the Hotel Continental. This is Wedgwood Noel speaking. As you know, folks, tonight is the swan song of this famous old landmark. During its colorful 50 years, the Continental has been host to the world and his wife. It was here that uh, Adelina Patti, famous Italian coloratura, sang for charity in the early 80s. In 1887, Edward, Prince of Wales, was one of our guests. Every president, from Cleveland to Hoover, has at one time or another enjoyed our hospitality. Tragedy and crime have also stopped our home. In this very room, von Strong, ace of German spies, was captured in 1970. Five years ago, 
James Bennett, known as the, the boy embezzler, was arrested in the lobby. The crowd here tonight is probably the largest, at least one of the largest, in the hotel's entire history. They seem to be making a brave attempt to enjoy themselves as they did in the old days, but none of us can quite forget that this marks our farewell to good old Hotel Continental. I thank you. Won't be long now. What she's stalling for, does she have to give him dancing lessons? Let him have a good time while it lasts. But are you sure of that? We'll make sure. This is just the beginning of our holiday. And you've supplied the one thing that's been lacking. Friendship. With the money you're going to get, you could buy plenty of friends. No, not real friends. It couldn't buy you. Not if you didn't like me. Would it make any difference if I told you that I'm just out of prison? That I'm a crook? I guess that. The boy embezzler. <laughs> I'm a little sharp one myself. No, you're not. There's something fine in you, something deep down that you try your best to hide. But it comes creeping out through your eyes sometimes. They promise a lot, Ruth. Laughter, friendship, love, maybe. And they do something to me. I don't know what it is, but it's grand. You're not going to tell me you've fallen in love with me already. All I know is that I want to do things for you. I want to keep the smile on that pretty face of yours. You know, we can be very happy together. Oh, shut up. What's the matter? I'm not kidding. I'm on the level. That's what hurts. I would never hurt you, Ruth. I promise you that. Well, let's get out of here. This place is getting on my nerves. There is a man who's trying his best to spoil our holiday. Cuba, Monte Carlo, Paris, Mediterranean, the Riviera. That's where we'll blossom into human beings again. Stay as long as we want, and then drift on to wherever you want to go. Uh, 
beg your pardon. I wanted to see Mr. Underwood. I'm Mrs. Underwood. Perhaps I can help? I didn't mean to intrude. You see, my wife and I had looked forward to stopping in this suite. We spent our honeymoon here, and I was going to suggest that we change suites. But of course, since you have a party here, why... I'm so sorry. Oh, new blood. Just what the party needs. Come on, let's make whoopee. Huh? Why, well, of course. We'd love to have you. Do come in. Would you like to, dear? Oh, why, it's awfully kind of you, Mrs. Underwood. My name's Cooper. This is Mrs. Cooper. Oh, how do you do, my dear? Come right along here. My name is Layton. Let's see what mischief we can make. Huh? Come on. Mrs. Cooper. How about it, kid? Please do, Mr. Careful. You're right. Oh, bother the wife. Oh, Mrs. Cooper. I want you to meet Mr. Cooper. Wife spent their honeymoon here. Oh, uh, yes. Well, I don't remember having invited Mr. Cooper to join the party. Mrs. Underwood was good enough to ask me in. Don't you think you've had enough? My dear, I'd be very happy if you would kindly mind your own business. I'm sorry if I've embarrassed you. You must pardon my husband. He's not usually rude. these old places south, didn't they? Yes, indeed. You couldn't find a fireplace like that in every hotel. I should say not. They'll probably put up an office building here. The hotel game isn't what it used to be. You're right. I've got a lot of money tied up in hotel property. Sure. Hey, this party's dying. I'm going out and get some new customers. Why don't we all go down to the grill room and dance? Oh, it's just full of drunks down there. You could all dance up here. Certainly you can.
Hey, you. Come on, buddy. Outside. Whom are you addressing, my good man? You, my boy. Come on. Outside. What's the trouble, Admiral? Been trying to crash in all evening, sir. Years ago, my patronage was welcome here. Oh, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? Come on. You want to meet my friend. Uh, but, sir... Uh... That's all right. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. <laughs> You're no blonde, but you look like a great guy. Come on, we have a little snort. Everything will be all right. Don't worry about it. No, never mind, thank you. Where do you suppose she is? With him, of course. We'll hear from her soon. I hope so. Come on, Tommy. Come on, I want you to meet the gang. <laughs> It's a great bunch of folks. Now, come on, don't be bashful. Everything's all right. Now, we'll have a drink. Ha! You place your life. We'll have a couple of drinks. <laughs> Wonder if you'd mind if I ate first. No, go right ahead. Eat, drink, be merry. Well, help yourself. Play of it. A cake, lady? Don't be a hog. How dare you? I'll have you discharged. Also, fella, we'd all be laid off for tomorrow anyway, so what's the diff? Ten years ago, I could have had anything I wanted in this hotel. The waiters brought me special menus. Then it used to be, yes, Mr. Winthrop. Anything else, Mr. Winthrop? And tonight, they throw me out. They bum, the doorman called me. <laughs> Please don't laugh at him. Oh. Thank you, my dear. See, Ruth, I was right. You're fine, all through. We're gonna get along. Swell. Maybe. Why the doubt? Jim, this money, well, what would you do if you didn't get it? Nothing can stop me. You're sure of yourself, aren't you? As sure as I am of you. Jack goes on the Queen. I thought they called this game solitaire. Did you find out where it is? No. What are you doing here then? Why aren't you with Bennett? I'm not going through with it. What's the idea, Ruth? I can't do it. I, I can't. Yellow, eh? No, but he's regular. He's been so decent to me. I told you this would happen. He succeeded in reforming you then. Call it that if you like. He's offered her a bigger cut than we did. He offered me something you wouldn't understand. You like him, eh? I see. He's romanced you and you've fallen for it. <laughs> I thought you had more brains than to let him get around you like that. Listen, kid, once he gets that money in his hands, 
He'll wave you goodbye so fast it'll make your head swim. He's no double-crosser. No? He hasn't seen a woman in five years. He'd hand that line to any pretty girl. Play with us and you get your share. Throw us down and, and we'll get the money if we have to wipe him out. You mean you... You kill him? Try it and see. I'll go through with it. I won't cross you. And don't try to pull a fast one. All right. You win. What do you think? She'll come through. She's scared. through the hall. I want to thank you. Thank your wife for being a very charming lady. Better hurry. Come on, babe. Let's have a dance. Huh? Take your hands off me. I'm tired. Attorney? All right. Fix it with the operator, then come here. I'm going to 705. All right. Come on. Do you want to make $20? 
play a joke on a friend of mine. Here's your 20. Boy, you can play 20 jokes for this. Listen. Watch room 705. And when you get a signal, plug me in. I'm in 708. Is that all? That's all. One of us must be crazy. Make the pinch and go home. Not till they have the goods on them. You keep out of sight or they'll never touch the stuff. Replaced your men? Not yet. Better get it going. I'll keep tabs on this floor. About 7.05. Looks like a stall to me. Don't worry. We'll give enough rope to hang, sir. When the lesson comes here, the car skidded. The feet circled around, deserted by the merest miracle. Pardon me, will you? Can I stick you a minute? Certainly. Out here. <laughs> Look. What is it? The old fellow. You mean he must have... Evidently. Good heaven. It's liable to be a mess. The investigation, I mean. And what would you suggest? Get everybody downstairs. If there's not a lot of noise in here, they'll never be able to find the room. Well, of course. Once more, I'm indebted to you. Not at all. You'd better hurry. Yes. Yeah. What's all the noise? They're all coming out of the room. It won't be long now. Turn that light out over there. That's fine. Now lock the door. Right. Lewis, keep back out of sight there. Jean, you watch this entrance. Okay. Mike, you watch the barber shop, please. Hey, Madigan, what's this all about? It would take too long to explain. Hey, Parker, what is it? I promised I wouldn't tell. Listening. Tonight, my Tommy forgot to mention he was once one of the our greatest actors. Tommy? Yeah, the old fella. Tommy Winthrop. <laughs> we played a trick on Underwood and he fell for it. Fair enough, though. Did him a good turn tonight. Played Robin Hood, Ruth. Well, what do you mean? Oh, took the rap for him. He would have been caught with that blonde. You took his place when Mrs. Underwood walked in? Uh-huh. Then you weren't in there with her alone. I should say not. He 
No, it is. Come on, honey. I can't. You must. Luck threw us together, and we're going to stick together. For keeps. I mean it, Ruth. For keeps. We're going to get married. I've got to tell you something. I'm I... stone deaf, honey. Forget everything but getting out of here. Come on, we've got to hurry. Hold this a second. Let's go. Smooth work, Ruth. Put him in his room. In a few minutes, folks, taps will be played. While the lights are lowered as a tribute to the passing of an old friend. Come out of the boiler room. The boys are throwing a party. I can't do it. I gotta turn off the lights in a minute. All right. See you later. Touch it. You snorting about where your dough comes from? <laughs> That's a laugh. I may have done some pretty rotten things in my life, but this time I sold out a guy who was white. Wanted her, don't you? No. Suit yourself.
take that, Mills. You might hurt someone. Say, Martin, I'm clean. Never mind. I have... Never mind. You haven't Never got Never mind. Get back in the elevator. Drop it at the lobby, son. Anything yet? Sergeant Madigan, quick. Madigan, Martin talking. Get word to the men at every door. No one in or out. Right. Can you do this? I'll be all right, Jim. You can make it if you hurry. Hello, operator. Send a doctor up to 707. An accident. It's urgent. And send up Detective Martin. some other time. You're not going? No. There'd be no Monte Carlo. No holiday. I'll have you. And that will always be a holiday. <laughs> 